Do you know what one of the hardest things is as a creative person who also happens to be an overthinker that creates video content for YouTube can be? Coming up with what you would consider to be a perfect or great opening shot for any random video that you start doing. And by and large, you end up wasting all of the time in the world laying in bed in your tiny home on wheels because you live full time in a cargo van that you've converted into a full time livable home and you don't do anything because you can't come up with it. You need to pump your brakes and realize not every single video when you create as, as many as someone like such as myself does needs to be amazing. So don't get stuck on that. Sometimes maybe it's just better to push the record button, get on with your day, see what happens and start with How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> I haven't filmed in a couple days. Maybe that's part of my problem as well, but no crazy artsy fartsy opening to this video. I just woke up, got my day going. I got my clothes on, got Penny fed. She is now on the dash having her morning nap as she do. It's quite, a, it's quite rainy in Calgary today. It started late last night with some pretty incredible and awesome, which are the same word. Mm. All right, thunderstorms. Uh, and the rain was coming down to beat the band, as my grandmother would say. I think she said that. She might have said it once. Maybe she never said it at all. I don't know. I'm getting old. I'm almost 40. So we are going to take advantage of this day. Well, we're not taking advantage of this day. Well, we are taking advantage of this day. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be raining when I was doing what I'm about to do today because I would prefer to do it outside. Uh, and then, of course, my brain started rat working when I realized it's going to be raining. Well, can I go to a car park and do this? Well, that's just going to annoy people because I'm probably going to be making a lot of noise. So we are going to utilize our tiny home on wheels, and we are going to attempt to save ourselves a metric F-ton of money. Before that, though, we got to get our day started with a little bit of breakfast. I'm going to keep it really simple this morning. As usual, I'm going to have a Revita Energy Tea in place of coffee or an energy drink and a couple spoonfuls of Siggy's yogurt, which has anybody else realized that the price of this has gone down, I'm pretty sure permanently in Walmart. It is what rollback means, right? Rollback doesn't mean just sale prices, doesn't rollback mean permanently new price, which is great in this economy. When everything else is going up, Siggy's yogurt, I'm keeping it real. Mm -hmm. Get that protein in ya. All right, we'll clean that later. For now. Oh yeah, I mentioned earlier in a previous video that I couldn't prop my fridge up with my uh, TV. <laughs> Turns out I'm a liar. It absolutely does work, so that's awesome. Let's get this put back in there. Don't have a lot going on in this fridge right now in way of uh, sustenance, but that's okay. Actually, I should probably fill my water bottle as well, so bring that out. Don't put it on your phone, my goodness. Close this. Good morning, Penny. You coming to say hi? Well, come on, you got that. You got up there. You can get down. Come on, Den. I bet I got a treat for you. Whoa. Hello, my dear. Let's actually see. Put your temptations away at the back, but I think up here we've got yes, yes, those are freeze dried Skittles. We got some of those. You want some? Hang on. You gotta do things in order of priority. And you can come before any money-saving stuff. Another? Another? Good girl. Good girl. All right, so. <laughs> How I'm going to be saving some money today is we're going to be invoking the power of my grandfather, as I usually do, or as I have done almost my entire adult life. There you go. I got to finish off the water that's in here first. It's a lot harder to do that fast when the opening is so agape. All right. Don't you say agape at me. If you don't know, I tow around a Jeep Wrangler with my cargo van, right? I have a Chevy Express 2500 with a 4.8 liter engine, and I have been towing a Jeep Wrangler behind her for over a year. Now, I don't just attach it with rope or bungee cords. That would be... Highly illegal and dangerous, but I've got a, I've got a hitch system, right, by a company called Blue Ox. I had it installed here in town at a local shop, um, back when, closer to when I got the Jeep, which was over a year ago, and it's been serving me great ever since, right? No, no major malfunctions or anything like that. But I, and I'll show it to you guys once we get it into the house here. 
Uh, but I noticed that there was a little bit of wiggle happening and, and looseness more so than there had ever been since I had first had it installed. And anyway, so I, I quickly realized that there was a washer missing. The whole thing is kind of built on bolts and washers and all of this stuff because there's a lot of articulating parts on it. So I, I, I took it into the shop where I purchased it from and I showed the guy and I said, well, hopefully you can just, you know, you guys can take it apart and put a new washer in there for me. That would be great. Obviously, I'm not expecting them to do it pro bono because let's be fair before we start throwing blue ox under the bus and saying, oh my God, they don't even make products that last a year. It would behoove us to keep in mind that the way my setup is, it's getting a lot more everyday use than anybody else who would be buying this like for their RV to tow their car around for a few weeks in the summer and then put a, a storage bag over top of their hitch system, right? I don't have a storage bag. Mine is constantly exposed to the elements. It is getting used on an absolutely almost daily basis. And I, I've, I've pulled Grace the Jeep over some pretty rough terrain. So there's a lot of bumps and shit happening. So a lot of shock and stuff gets sent through this hitch system for sure. So this isn't a fault of the manufacturer. This is just, this is what I would consider to be wear and tear. Anyway, I take it into the shop and the guy takes one look at it and he basically says, nah, man, you're hooped. And I said, excuse me? <laughs> and he says, yeah, unfortunately, they don't make this hitch system anymore and they don't supply any more of the parts for it either. So there's nothing I can do. Uh, now, to his credit, that's kind of where he left the story. And then I asked, well, what are my options? He's like, well, you can upgrade to the newest model. And he showed it to me. And it's a, yeah, it's a nice new, it's basically the same, but newer, right? And there's like some changes here and there, but it would still, it would just be a straight swap if I did it. I could just buy this, this new hitch and it would work very well with the rest of the stuff that I have that allows me to tow the Jeep, right? Unfortunately, that shit's $1,350 just for these articulating arms. Like, it's not cheap equipment, right? Um, so I said, okay, well, thank you very much. You have some of these in stock. He said, yeah, yeah, we do. And I said, okay, well, let me, I gotta, I'm gonna think about it because I don't have $1,350 to just be blowing at the drop of a hat like that. And my hitch system, for argument's sake, is working fine. And I did double check with him. Like, you've never seen these things catastrophically fail. Like with this washer missing, there's no risk of this part breaking. And he said, no, no, no. I've seen people run on that for years. You're just going to have a lot more wiggle and I wouldn't be going down any crazy off-road areas. Not that I really do that anymore because the house itself can't take it. But he said it, it would be fine. But you can just see when you're, when you have a mechanically inclined brain like I do, you know that it's probably not the best to be be continuing on your way with that. So I said, all right, well, I'll keep it in the back of my head. Maybe I can save it some money and I'll come back and get this other one. And then I got back into the Jeep and I took off and I got to thinking and I'm like, this, this doesn't make any sense. Like I, I got to look, I got to at least check. So I go onto Blue Ox's website and sure as shit, they absolutely still do sell my hitch system. And I kid you guys not less than one minute on Amazon. And I was able to find an entire parts replacement kit for my system, nuts and washers. So that's, that's what it is. And I'm pretty sure, now I shouldn't be so cocky right here at the front um, to assume that everything's just gonna work and this is it, because I don't actually know the model of the hitch system I have. But when I look at the picture on their website, it's pretty spot on, as they might say. And this is the one that goes with the one on the website, so it should work for me. And it's the really big washer, you can't really see it in the back here, this really big one that, uh, went the way of the dodo with my system. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to replace today. This cost me $30, and we're gonna to have to make a trip over to Canadian Tire, and I'll probably have to get at least two, possibly three different size sockets. I'm pretty sure I need a three quarter inch socket and a half inch socket for the nuts and bolts that are on the hitch system. And I'll also need a bit of an extension for my impact gun, because one of the, one of the nuts is buried in the shaft. All right, everybody, just calm down. Let me grab the damn thing and show you what I'm talking about. It's very wet out, so we're gonna put on our flannel and while I'm out there poking around in grace, I have it off of Lucky right now. It usually rides around on Lucky's hitch, obviously, or the hit, in the hitch receiver. Uh, but I've had it in grace because that's how I ripped it over there to the shop and I've just left it there since and I've just been not towing grace the last couple days. I've just been shuffling vehicles around to, fro, here, there, and every bloody where. Um, and the reason I say what I'm going to need to buy is because the $30 for that kit on top of the, let's say three sockets that I have to buy, maybe they're 20 bucks each. So we're up to what? 90 bucks at that point. 
96, that's fast math. Plus the extension, maybe another 20. So let's 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 really give ourselves a high ceiling based on other parts I might need, $200. Uh, and that will be an investment into tools to do the job. That's a lot cheaper than 1350. Um, at first I was hesitant to do this because it's such a, you know, detrimental system. I hopefully, I hopefully I don't break it, but at this point, if I do end up breaking it, it's just a live and learn, so to speak, I'm an education for myself. Now, before I go out there and get this thing, we need to clean up this area because this is where we're going to be working. So we're going to take Penny's food dish, this guy, you know what, Penny, we're going to slide the poop bucket a little bit more up there. Your food dish, which is, I know, empty. My apologies, darling. Put it there. Pea bottle there, move your water bottle. My water bottle, your water dish. Over here for now. My water bottle can go on the seat. And we gotta get the EcoFlow off the floor as well. It's gonna require two hands. So you can sit on the poop bucket. I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna go heave diddly ho. Ugh. There we go. Definitely want to secure this so it doesn't fall off when we take off. By secure it, maybe I just mean there. What could possibly go wrong? So that's there. <sighs> get your get your caffeine intake in ya. What? There we go. All right. Let's get that bastard in here, shall we? Too wet and gross out for me to be horsing around with the camera out here, so you can stay inside and stay dry. Oh yeah, it's real wet out here. Hold, I don't even have keys to the Jeep on me. Where are you? Come here, you bastard. Thank you. Okay, so here is this guy. He's the the main attraction for right now. It's about, this thing's about 40 pounds, I think. Just so gonna bring that in here. And I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if I can find myself a jacket. I know a lot of my jackets I ended up leaving in BC, but I'm pretty sure I saw my coach's jacket stuffed in here. Yeah, from when we were making the craft dinner the other day. I have to give a huge shout out to Marilyn. She sent me two more boxes of these sports wipes, a, a smaller box like this and one of the larger boxes uh, with larger wipes. So thank you, my dear. You're keeping my pits all sorts of clean. There's, there's no room in the van right now. I still have a box, so they're going to stay in the Irish Pirate Queen. All right, gloves. Oh, the laundry bag. Yeah, you can get out of our life for now. You can stay in the van or the van. That's that's a Jeep. All right, come inside. It's a little drier. Close the door. Yikes. And there is our Blue Ox hitch system. Don't know the best way to <laughs> show this off. What? We're going to give it a good old college try. So eh, let's just lay it out. Probably the best bet. Probably going to want to move my carpets too before I start effing around with impact guns and stuff. All right. So this is the hitch system. This is the Blue Ock hitch system that attaches to the Jeep. These two hands or arms or whatever out here, these are what go into the front of the Jeep and then pins hold them on. These are uh, not really shocks but they're, con they're retractable inside. That's actually a maintenance part. You need to remove this boot and re-grease the whatever inside the piston. But those extend out and lock into position once you start towing. And then the rest of it back here, this is where it all starts to show like where it articulates. So these two arms can move in and out on this pivot point. On this pivot point allows it to move up and down. The pivot point in question is this one back here. So this is the part that goes into Lucky, whether she likes it or not. And then the hitch pin goes through there. This is in the receiver. And then right in here, right there. You can't, yeah, see where that big space is? So you got this big nut head and then it, this piece of metal and this piece of metal here, there's supposed to be a washer in there. Just like there's a washer. Let me see if I can get this stupid camera onto macro mode. Yeah, there, that's a little bit better. So you can see that there's washers in there, two of them. It's very hard to see because they're very filthy dirty. Again, there's probably, that's probably a washer right there behind the head of the nut. So that giant washer I showed in the bag actually needs to go in between these two pieces of metal. Now that's what I mean. Like it doesn't actually do anything. It's not like a super safety concern. It's basically to cause a little bit more resistance so this isn't so free floating 
and I would imagine that it aids in shock absorption because there's just so much moving around here, right? I don't know though, I'm not a scientist, so don't take my word for it. This is all a, a lot of assumption on my part, but looking at it, it's very straightforward in terms of nuts and bolts design. Now, unfortunately, I have to take this bolt out. That one there goes into the shaft. You're not gonna be able to see, but way down in there, actually, stay there. Let's grab our flashlight here. And if we look, take a peek down into the shaft, you can see at the bottom there. Yeah, so way down there at the bottom of the shaft, that's a nut. And that round, globy looking silver thing is the end of the bolt. So I gotta get down into there with an extension. So I'm gonna start by measuring this distance here to see how long of an extension I need because in my experience, you don't want it to have be any longer than you absolutely need it to be because as soon as you start using an impact gun on something that's really long, you tend to get diminishing returns and you risk busting stuff. So here's my idea. My, I can't get at this bolt without removing this part. So we're going to first remove this bolt and nut from there so that this comes free, then we should have access to that. And honestly, if it's that easy, if it all goes according to plan, cross your fingers and your buttholes, that's impossible, I understand. It, it shouldn't take very long. <laughs> uh, the hardest part here is going to be getting into the toolie to get my tools and whatnot without getting soaking wet. So I think what we'll do is we're gonna fire up the good ship, Lucky. We're gonna go find a gas station. Actually, there's a gas station at Canadian Tire. And then we'll pull up under the canopy, I will go get what I need from the roof and the back. Then we'll move to another part of the parking lot, sort of away from the doors. Cause like I said, it's gonna get loud in here when I start using the impact gun. And that reminds me, I should make sure that my batteries are charged up. There's one right there. Let's see, hiya. Yeah. This one's only got two bars. There's another one somewhere that I charged up the other day. So I'm gonna get my batteries in order and then we set sail. Right. Ah, we are in luck, Penny. The battery on the vacuum is charged and it's the same size as this one. Perfect. So now we've got a fully charged battery. Like you care. <laughs> Glasses. Step over the poop bucket. <sighs> Curtain. Clip for curtain. Yeah, come on, there you go. Window blocker too. Windshield blocker. Good morning, Lucky. How you doing, darling? this close to having to turn the diesel heater on last night. Well, not last night, more so this morning, just because it was such a, a wet and overcast sort of night. <sighs> but now we're, we're pretty good. You coming back up here? Come on, let's go, you can do it. Come on, you got it, you can do it. And boing, one more, what? You can do it. You can do it. Go, go, go. Come on. Any little coaxing? Get up there, get up there. Tap the booty, ha ha! Well done, putty tat. All right, Grace, hopefully this will be one of the last times we leave you behind, not on purpose, but because stuff isn't working. Before anybody gets all uppity in the comments about, oh my God, I can't believe he just left his Jeep in the parking lot. It's a parking lot. That's what it's for, you dork. I'm sorry your mother didn't love you.
I didn't exactly pick the best spot. It's better than nothing. Oh, what I need is right here. I could have gotten that from inside. I don't think, I don't think I need anything else, so it should be good. So, into the store, need the sockets, probably three of them. Technically, I would need four because I would want two of each size, but I think with the half nut or the half inch size, I should be able to just make that work with what I have on hand or a pair of pliers or something. Because I'm thinking, yes, I'm going to repair and like replace what's missing, but it might also behoove me to, you know, replace the other gaskets as well. At least that one that we're taking apart. So anyways, we're gonna go get that stuff. Probably some shop towels, so we're not ripping through our paper towel and we can put that down on the ground. And I'm, honestly, I think I'm gonna be really smart about this. I think I'm gonna get some um, liquid wrench, some penetrant, and not just WD-40. Um, and we'll probably let that sit because we don't wanna bust the bolts. They're pretty big bolts. I doubt I could bust them, but you never know. Maybe I don't know my own strength. Here we go. Let's not forget to turn the lights off. <laughs> and lock this door, apparently. This is what we got as well. That's our half-inch drive impact gun. That's what we need the battery for. And that's the drive size we're going to need for our sockets. Lights out. So, interesting learning metric, not imperial. So, 27 millimeters. So I got two of those guys. We got our PB blaster to loosen the bolts. Not, probably not necessary, but safe than sorry. Uh, some shop towels and a 10 inch, half inch drive extension. That's probably not how you say that properly. I don't give a shit, shut up. All of that clocking in at $67 and 67 cents. Huh. So that's a lot cheaper. So we got, what, what, what are we, we're, what was it with tax? Let's say $35 for the kit. So yeah, right around a hundred bucks to hopefully fix this, but let's not count our chickens. They ain't hatched yet. It's one thing I forgot about this jacket. It's very warm, it doesn't look it but it really, really is. Now that we're back inside the van, I probably don't need my flannel on either. Lift this guy up, grab this carpet. I'm gonna have to shake those out because yuck. <clears throat> grab this one. Yeah, excellent. Duh. Oof, yikes. There's one, two. All right, those up here out of the way. Bye bye world. Next time I see you, hopefully the shit's fixed. Maybe actually before I soak this stuff, let's make sure. Ah, son of a bitch. It fits on the nut. It doesn't fit on the. Ah. And I knew this was gonna happen. This is why we're in the parking lot. So we're gonna need an even bigger boy. The other thing is, is I could just get an adjustable wrench, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get an adjustable wrench in there. I don't know if this width would allow a wrench up there. I also don't know this bloody size. I got uh, time to go to Google and do some conversions. Move this out of my way. Workstation in the good ship, lucky. Okay, 
I know it's not usually <clears throat> a direct translation, but we're gonna go metric to imperial just to see. All right, so there is no 27 millimeter on this chart, but it's saying that 28.6 is one and one eighth. So maybe I do need that one and a half. So, okay, that means I can return one of these because I don't need two of those. That's just silly business. And then get the other one. I guess we're hauling this stupid thing into the... Mm. Not messing around with charts on Google. We're just gonna live and learn. All right, make sure we got the socket, the receipt. Turn one. And you come here, you bastard. All right, don't mind me. I'm just going shopping with my Blue Ox tow system. How you doing? Not too bad. I just bought this. Haven't used it yet. Don't need it. <laughs> I bought two of them, so. What? That one's Imperial? Zero cents. Anyway. <clears throat> that was fun. Don't say I don't treat you right. Hopefully you enjoyed your walk. You stay here for now, you cart you. Might need you again, who knows? But hopefully not. Uh, uh, so it's all an illusion. I really hope that is the same size as this. Otherwise I'm gonna lose my damn mind. But yeah, we've now got an Imperial and a metric to take this bloody thing apart. And I shit you not, that is a perfect fit on there. And this one, it's a perfect fit on there. That's stupid. Uh, okay, PB blaster, just a little bit. This one doesn't come with a little skinny straw. So I gotta, there we go, get you on there, get some there. Although, let's get serious. Most of the rust on the big boy is gonna be down at the base of the shaft as it usually is. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a bit. It smells lovely. That was a, an exaggeration for sure. Ugh. It wasn't an exaggeration, maybe it was just a lie. <laughs> Get the water in you. The longer you let stuff like that sit, obviously the better it works. I'm gonna give it like a good, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Ooh, that gives me an idea. Where are you? Oh, I should have charged you. Oh well, what are you at? <sighs> you are at 18%. Okay, I'm gonna have to plug it in, but yeah. I've moved on from Elden Ring. Top notch, gotta get the expansion next. But currently I'm playing Link's Awakening on my Switch. That was probably far too close. The screen was probably also so blank. I'm playing Link's Awakening on the Switch. That's what I'm gonna do for the next 15 to 20 minutes. Hi, well, I just got to this dungeon, so I might as well stop here because I believe our battery is getting quite low. Yeah, so we'll plug it in. I love the um, I love the art style in this game. It's making me very excited for Echoes of Wisdom, which by the time this video comes out, it'll be out. So let's come back here. We're gonna need a USB-C cable. We'll hug her in here. You wanna know something crazy that I've noticed with the Nintendo Switch when I charge it this way? It's plugged in right now. It doesn't show the lightning bolt to like let you know that it's charging. It does any other way I charge, but with this cable plugged into a USB-C port, I think it's going so fast, it just messes with the system because it'll still charge it. It's very strange. Anyway. Squirrel moment. Let's zap this apart. So we won't need the extension for this, obviously. I am gonna put disposable gloves on because by the time I start grabbing those nuts and bolts, I'll have that PB blaster all over myself. I'd rather not have it on my hands and I'd rather not have it on my reusable gloves. So disposable, it is, darling. All right, and then our tool roll, I should have, I was kind of planning for this yesterday. Yep, there it is, a half inch drive socket. All right, so which side are we gonna blast? We're gonna blast the nut. <laughs> yeah, whatever. These things are a pain in the butt to get out. What the heck? Reason 
9,076 to have a Leatherman? Hi. Yep. Yep. Take that out of there. Take it out of the other one. Hi. There you go. Okay, so the big boy that we just got is gonna go onto our wrench. We're gonna hold it steady. Which way is it gonna go? I think that'll work, okay. And then the 27 millimeter is gonna go onto our gun. There we go, loosen. Oh boy, what could possibly go wrong? Before I start blasting away, I wanna make note. It looks like there's three washers in here. One on the bolt side and two on the nut side. So make note of that. Let's make sure we put the proper amount back. Hold it with this one, blast it with this one. Let's do it. <laughs> Super easy. All right, pull that big ass bolt out. Ew, he yuck nasty. <laughs> All right, now let's pull this up aside. So we got one for sure on that side. One for sure. Maybe it's just one on each side. All right. Oh, wait a second. No, I was, I was right. There was two on the nut side. So there you go. All right. These ones are okay. They didn't disappear. But since we're taking it apart anyway, I'm going to replace them because why the hell would I keep yuck ones just to take apart again at a later date? So that was super easy. We're going to put this guy off to the side. And let's see. I hope. Well, actually, you know what? Before we do anything, does this fit on this one? It does. Thank goodness gracious. All right. So now things are going to get a little trickier. <laughs> the extension I got is not technically an impact extension. It should still work. This on here. The extension on the gun. Very nice. Wait, is that the right one? Yes. So it's going to be tricky because I just got to kind of have to feel around and get this down there. Getting this back together is going to be more difficult than it will be to take it apart because, you know, like how the hell we'll figure it out when we get there. We could use a little bit more light on this situation. That did sweet F all. Mechanic mode. Let's go. We've got a new problem. The socket's too big to go down there. What? No. Oh, great. Maybe this is what he meant by you're hooped. Oh, great. Ugh. Now this is in there. How the heck am I going to get it out? Oh, no. Hang on. Okay, we might be okay. I think it's just because it's so effing rusty in there. Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna send a whole bunch of this down into the shaft. I thought I was there for a second. Lube this up nice and good. I just don't know if it's gonna turn in there. Like, that's pretty wild. I don't wanna shove it down. Hmm, this could be a new problem. I may have to get, Oh, I'd have to get like sandpaper. How the hell am I going to sand the inside of this thing? Or alternatively, I have to go get a 27 millimeter non-impact socket because they tend to be not as thick because they're not designed to be impacted. I don't know what other choice I have because this, yeah, you know, it gets to a point of resistance. I'm going to, I'm going to work smarter <laughs> and not shove that all the way in and then risk not being able to get it out. Yeah, I don't have a socket that big. Darn. Okay. It's okay. This is why we stayed parked outside Canadian tire. Woo. Yeah. Temperature difference. You can start to see it's getting a little foggy in here. So while I run into the store, we're actually going to open up our fan and get it exhausting. Get some of that out of here, as well as the uh, overwhelming stench of our PB blaster penetrating catalyst. That is a mouthful. They didn't have a deep socket one, so hopefully this is still long enough with our extension. And if this doesn't work, and I should have just looked while I was in there and just done it, but I didn't because I'm way too hyper-focused on this task at hand right now. Try and get this off in case I need to return this bloody thing. Oh, I don't see that happening. I should have looked for a way to sand the inside. Like they probably have something, but it wouldn't be long enough. That's gonna be a whole other investment. Oh, I am getting a phone call. I don't know who that is. Do not call me when your name is not displayed. Okay, let's see if this fits in the shaft. Oh boy. All right, so take that big bad boy off. I am gonna keep that one just because it's better to have these things in my tool bag rather than not. Um, ew. 
one glove. Let's just make sure it fits first. Stand up there. <laughs> but now I can't. You're not going to stay standing. Can I? Ha ha. All right, moment of truth. Oh, yeah, buddy. But is the gun going to? Okay, hang on. <laughs> this is the whole thing. It should. Well, damn it. Come here. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about sanding, which is nice. Keeps costs down for today. Although that might be something I want to do in the future is get in there and, and sand the edges. Okay. Now that it's on the... Yo! What the? This doesn't bode well. I do have another extension, but again, you don't want to add too many. I'm going to need it. It's not going to fit. I knew it! Frick! This is going to be a whole Frankenstein situation. It's just simply not long enough. And the only, the next size that they had was like 18 inches for an extension. I do not need that big of an extension. That's just, that's crazy. But unfortunately, yeah, see what happens? The impact gun hits the edge of the tow bar and the socket is not on the nut on the inside. I can tell it's a feeling. So now I need to go to the back. Oh, wait a second. Actually, you just hang out there for a second. I'm pretty sure in my tool roll, I might, is it half inch though? I'd be very happy if it is. It is not. Oh wait, yes it is, kind of. Ah, no, it's three eighths, two inch, damn it. Yeah, I gotta go out in the rain again, but just to the back of the van this time. I actually thought this might happen. That's why I've got the pillows all sort of pushed forward so that when I open the doors up, they're not gonna get covered in rain. Not that I'm gonna melt or that the pillows would melt or anything like that, but you know, it's the, it's the bed area. I don't like it to be moist at my head. Unfortunately, this is all at the very back of this drawer. Uh, oh no, you're not gonna be in there. Son of a bitch. God forbid I put stuff away to make it easy to get a, I really hope I have an extension in here. If I have to go back in, that lovely lady in there is gonna lose her mind or she's gonna think I'm insane. Are you nuts? Wait a second, on my, ooh, okay. This was all for naught. This, you know why this happens? Because I don't use this stuff frequently enough to remember exactly where I left it. Some people's kids, right here, right there. That's a half inch, that's for torquing my tires. Excellent, that should be the key to finishing this, I hope. How are you doing? I feel like I don't ask that enough. I hope you're well. You can clearly see how I'm doing. Okay. Ha. Yes. That's another, what, three inches? Hopefully that's the exact amount we need. Put this in, insert it, nestle onto the nut. I swear to God, if you're, oh, there we go. That should be it. Okay, that's on loosen. This is gonna be tricky. Hold it. Why am I wearing a white t-shirt right now? I think this is gonna... Did that work? I don't know. Is there a nut in there? No. What? I swear to God, if that's not 27 in there, I'm gonna lose it. Because I don't really know how I'd figure out exactly what it is. Maybe the bolt's really long. Or this is just how I completely dismantle my, my tow system. And like, don't, I'm not able to get it back together. Oh, this is not ideal, sir. It's not working. Why aren't you working? Where's my flashlight? What are you doing down there? I swear to God, if that is it. Oh, if you need a deep 27. Oh, well, they don't have any here. They don't have non-impact deep 27s here. And I think that might be the issue. I think the bolt in there is coming through so far that it's preventing the socket from actually sitting down. I guess there's no way for me to see. This is nuts. And there's nothing on the internet about this. You can kind of shine light through the hole. The only way to really try and figure this out and see if that's the problem is to like drop this thing in there. I think that's exactly my problem. I'm, I shouldn't say exactly, I'm not a scientist. But, Wait a second, hang on. If I do this, oh yeah, it doesn't really spin the, I think I'm like barely on the damn thing. Problem solving. Wait, did that just work? No. 
Frick! All right, we gotta put a pin in this. I think that's my problem, and that means we gotta go somewhere else. Auto value, or Princess Auto, or I guess a different Canadian tire, but I'm gonna have to do some research on the internet. To the Googles! Hmm, damn. This might be worse than I thought. Not worse than I thought, but I don't know if this is actually going to be doable. Although, they make a replacement gasket for it, so why the hell wouldn't it? But maybe somebody already saw when I showed down the shaft at the beginning of the video saw maybe like that's not going to come apart and now they're they're laughing at me. That very well could be. Happens a lot. But I just had the gun on the outside here and I looked down the shaft and used the gun. The, this socket doesn't turn at all. It doesn't move that nut and nothing on the inside spins. That leads me to believe that even if so maybe that maybe my problem isn't that the 27 is too short. Maybe it's just not meant to come apart. But it leads me to believe that a deep 27 wouldn't make a bit of difference. I don't know that that inside part is supposed to come apart. I think that nut is attached to that square base to prevent it from coming apart. I think that's all one and the same. So I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to get this thing apart like that. And maybe that is what the guy at the shop meant by I'm hooped. But again, I fall back to why is there a replacement part made available? Unless there's a machine out there that's just better equipped than whatever nonsense I'm doing in here, right? Ha! Huh. You can't win them all. We shall see. All right, hang on. I was overthinking the whole thing. I found this video from Easy Trailer. Uh, and I was Googling it. It didn't show up very easily on YouTube. And this guy here, he does it... Um, he uses a breaker bar, so that might be the, my best bet. This thing might just be so rusted, right? Um, so my best bet might be to put the shaft or the shank. What did he call it? I think he called it the shank. Anyway, back in Lucky, insert it into the hitch receiver so that I have something to actually hold the long part and then use the big 1 1 8 socket to crank that off with, because I do have a breaker bar under there as well with my torque bar. So that is what I'm gonna try, but of course, it's now raining a lot more again. Maybe it is time to, I think we have everything we need. This is either gonna work or it's not. Maybe now's the time to go to the mall parking lot. Oh, it's gonna be busy over there. I guess I could just pull back into a gas station, but that seems ignorant. I'm gonna figure it out, that or I'm just gonna wait out the rain. It can't possibly last all day. Right, Penny? Oh, you look so cute. She is out. Or, you know, you could just huh, not be a pussy. Get this thing. Let's get it. Ooh. All right. All right, Lucky, I need your assistance here, my girl. My girl, my girl. Here we go. I'm stronger than a torque gun. Oh, Am I, though? <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think it's working. Get that yep. <laughs> Definitely gonna need some painkillers after this. Oh, oh yeah, I need a little break. It's still on there, but it's it's coming. I guess this definitely answers the concern of it ever breaking loose on its own. No! I need to give my breath my back a little a little breaky poo. Oh. oh I think I finally got it. My stubbornness won out. The rest of me is gonna pay for it. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I don't think this would have been a problem if I had a garage and maybe an air powered impact gun. Battery power is clearly just not good enough in this specific application. Everything is soaking wet. Now this stuff in here, this should just, yeah. Let's see here. So, oh, it's literally just that. And that's why, that's all that's in here. It's this big bastard of a, yeah. So I'm glad I can take that 127 back. We don't need it. We will return that because there ain't no getting in there and getting around that. 
I was seeing things clearly. That's crazy. I could have sworn there was a, <laughs> a head on that. But no, there's our nut, or bolt, sorry. All right, look at that big bastard. Came right out of there. Okay, time for Van Life Plus to catch his breath, get out of this soaking shit, and calm down just a little bit. It's, it's when things get this hard and start to hurt, <laughs> that's when you're like, F it, what's $1,300? <laughs> but we're here now, we're gonna power through. Well, we may have to go down to, I don't know, Greg's Distributors or something, because it looks like these threads got absolutely mangled taking it out, which doesn't make any sense because it came out as easy as anything would. But the threads are looking a little gnarly. And I actually don't know that I'll be able to get this back. I mean, obviously with enough force, you could force it back on. But I think it will behoove me to see if I can get maybe even just another one of these made. I don't know. I'm going to have to look, look it up. <sighs> Lovely. Before we do that, let's just make sure like this is where this is supposed to go right there. All that work just to put that bloody nylon washer, I'm assuming that's what this is, right there. How did that thing just vanish? That's crazy. I know it was there. It's not like I didn't come with it. I definitely saw this. That's how I noticed it when it was rattling. I'm like, wait a second, there's a, there's a, there's a space in between those that I've never seen before. <sighs> That's a big ass bolt. All right, more research regarding the city of Calgary and where I can get shit made. Okay, everything is sort of squared away the best it can be so it doesn't go flying in transit. I found a place, uh, just a quick Google search, I didn't call anybody, called the Bolt Supply Warehouse. Actually, I don't know, it sounds very familiar. I feel like I've been there before. It's not too far. We're gonna start our search there. Hopefully they can strap us with what we need i'm thinking like if they can't make me that exact thing or they don't have that exact thing in stock maybe they can machine it and rethread it i kind of doubt it it looks pretty tattered but we've got it right here the bolt and the big square nut <sighs> let's tally freaking hoe away into the bloody yonder where are my keys probably still in the wet jacket to be fair, you did your job well. You're wet, I'm dry. What more can I ask for? Huh, there we go. All right. Tally freaking ho. That's why this place is so familiar. I am very close to the old office I used to work at when I was a school photographer. Right, I'm gonna run in here and talk to them. Hopefully they can steer me in the right direction or just strap me with what I need. That would be great. Okay, so Tyler in there, very helpful. Considering I don't know what the hell I'm talking about or doing. He was able to get me a new bolt, which is great. It's fine thread. So I, I picked up two. because He said that there's fine thread and then there's coarse thread, right? Um, obviously you can see just by looking at it, fine thread means you're gonna have a tighter grip. And that's actually what this bolt looks like it had, right? So it's pretty darn close to being identical. We can make it work. Problem is he didn't have the nut. And he's looking at this, he said, that's probably something that they just made. He had nothing like that on hand. He did have one for a coarse thread, but I actually don't know if that would even fit in our, would that even fit in our shank? Like it would fit, but would it hold? Because the whole idea here is, is that this, this square nut goes in and it's the edges that prevent it from turning. Oh, I can, I can tell you right now, there ain't no way. The bolts, both bolts were $11. I figured I'd just have it on hand, but it's fine. But no, like this completely, yeah, this thing completely turns in here. Well, yeah, no, that's not good. So he told me that a place that could might be able to help me out is a place called Blackfoot Industrial. So that's where we're off to now to see if they can make us a fine threaded square nut. He said, we've got the taps if you want to do it yourself. I have a piece of steel. 
or a shop to do that. That was that is not a task I would like to do. So let's grab the phone here. We were gonna plug in Blackfoot Industrial to the map app. So this is up on 46, Blackfoot Industrial Supply Center, 47th and 11th. Okay, six minutes away. Tally freaking hoe again. I hope this works out, like I really do. Like this is one of those things, like I, essentially what I have to have done now is have something fabricated, right? From, well, you know what I mean. They're gonna make it for me, hopefully. Um, and this is one of those things that I've, I'm just not familiar with at all. I don't even know where to go in the city. So like, if this is very successful, it, it kind of opens up doors for future possibilities of things that I might need. Um, so, yeah. I also just really want to get the bloody hitch system back together. So I'm, I'm assuming it's Friday right now too. Even if they are able to do it, they might not they might not be able to do it just for me at the drop of a hat, but I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh look, classic overthinker. Here we go. Also, fat lot of good putting those gloves on did. I'm yuck, dirt nasty. I just want to get that orange hand scrub, that fast orange, and just clean myself up. Well, let's get this done first, and I'm gonna need something to eat, and I'm thinking Subway. <sighs> I wonder if that sound is coming through on Lucky. Hmm. There it is. Can't see nothing. Stupid rain. All right, now I gotta straighten this van out. The noise that I'm talking about, um, I'm pretty sure are Lucky's brakes, which makes sense for the vibrations I was having. You know, well, I've been having them for a while. But you all just saw them for the first time in that video when I was coming back from BC. Don't hit the power pole, oh my god, this parking lot sucks. I've ordered from Parts Avatar new rotors and brakes and hope to get to that in a future video soon because yeah, there's a little bit of a grinding noise coming when I brake, which sucks. All right, now I gotta go talk to these lovely people. I hope they're as nice as Tyler. Ugh. Well, they were as nice as Tyler, but not as helpful, but that's no fault of their own. They just looked at this and said, nope, there's no way. We don't have anything like that. It's OEM. You're gonna need to have it machined, which I thought they could do here. I got maybe Tyler was under the impression that they could do that here, but he sent me to another location. I just said, listen, this is my struggle. I am lost AF. <laughs> so now they're sending me to a place called Aaron Machine Shop. There it is. It's 2.9 kilometers away. Oh my goodness, it's got a little, look at the icon on the map. It's a little like factory. <laughs> That's cool. All right, let's go there. 10 minute drive. I feel like I should get food first. Now I want to know if they can do it. That's what I want to know. So let's stay focused. Where the hell are my keys? Go there first, see what they, he's in here, this gentleman, I didn't get his name, my bad. He said for sure they can do it. But he's throwing air in machine shop under the bus, but. Let's see if they live up to the uh, name they've made for themselves here at Blackfoot Industrial Supply. actually kind of funny. I'm like up the hill from Hotel Walmart. All right, let's try this again. All right, well, the price just jumped up, but I mean, really, I don't have a choice. Uh, I met the gentleman in there, one of the mechanics or I don't know, architects. I don't know what they might call themselves, probably mechanics, but he said they can do it. Absolutely, but they are, they're busy. So I kind of thought that would be a thing. Unfortunately, he doesn't have time to get to it. He said it might be this time next week. <sighs> And also the minimum is 135 an hour. Oh, even though he said it would only take them like half an hour. So it is what it is. We're still coming in way under $1,350, although 135 is very, very coincidental. So that on top of the parts, the only problem now is I can't, I shouldn't have taken it apart. Although there's no way, I was about to say, I shouldn't have taken it apart because now I can't even move the Jeep with the van until I get that nut, but I wouldn't have known the nut that I needed without taking it apart. So it all kind of like 
part and, par part and parcel here. Well, gonna have to wait for that. That's okay. Time to go find some subway bread and stuff it into our face hole and then we'll get back down to Hotel Walmart and get all of, well, <clears throat> that nonsense out of the tiny home on wheels. So when you're tripping over the piecemeal toe hitch in the next week, they can ride around in Grace's boot. Home sweet home. <laughs> Hi Grace, I'm back. <laughs> Oh, my feet are soaking wet, too, from being outside and using the breaker bar that they have been since we left. Haven't had a chance to take off the shoes and drive everything off. It'd be a great opportunity to put my feet into those new slippers that were sent to me. But not yet, because we need food. Ah. Woo. All right. Okay, let's take this. Yuck. This. One at a time. And the rest of this. There we go. You come here, you frickin' guy. This is my jacket. I'm just getting all sorts of drenched out here. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Whew. There we go. Okay. Oh, look at that sad looking thing. But you know what? This will give me the opportunity to maybe clean this up a bit and even repaint it. Get the, as much rust off as I can and give it a fresh coat of paint. So maybe it was all meant to be. I don't know. That's the way I'm going to look at it though. Whew. Figured I would give Lucky a little bit of a break. Oh no, I want that. You know what? Maybe the soap at the subway bathroom will just do it. I was going to bring the fast orange with me, but I bet I can just scrub it off. Let's just go and get there first. Hi guys. You ready to rock and roll? The faint yellow, green, and white sign shining in the distance. Good, how you doing? The turkey rancher, foot long on that's yeah, Italian. Okay. Back to the good ship. Lucky. Okay, <sighs> there we go, okay. Got the heater going, to get those shoes dry. Would like to get back over to Canadian Tire to return that stubby 27 that I'm not clearly gonna need, but there's always tomorrow as well. I uh, say, so yeah, like it's no big deal, right? Like, just kinda keep it simple and lay low for the next week or whatnot, as low as I need to, right? In terms of, I won't be doing any towing. That's the part that will be low, right? But I, uh, I'm reminded I actually have a hotel two nights next week because I have Brooklyn overnight because of scheduling conflicts and whatnot. So there's definitely gonna be a little bit of an Uber shuffle in my future. Unless of course they get back to me earlier than he uh, initially anticipated. But that's okay. I haven't done that since, uh, since I first had the Jeep before I had the tow system. So not too bad. I'm still very confident that I'll be able to get this thing all put back together. And in the long run, it will have been way more affordable to get it sort of up to snuff, 
so to speak. For now though, I think I'm just going to hunker down for the day. I know I said maybe go back to Canadian time. I really don't want to. It's still raining out, it's still cold. I've got chocolate milk and a sandwich and chips. What more do you need? So I'm gonna leave this one here and I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching as always. And until the next one, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves, most importantly, be positive. But remember that you can't make everybody happy. You're not tacos. Maybe your chocolate milk. Who knows? <laughs>